a quick note on battery management here. When you start working with a class setting or large numbers of flights, battery management, making sure you have enough batteries is a huge issue. Now we have a lot of electronics in our lab, water quality probes, camera sensors, all kinds of things. So we have a whole, this, this is our, our area to deal with um, charging and batteries. In the context of uh, UAVs when you're just getting going, uh, there's a couple different options. So we have, um, this is a high output a USB charge uh, um, port so that you can plug in different batteries uh, and, and charge guys up there. So for example, here's our Hubsan X4 battery. Um, usually when you do get a unit, you're going to want to get uh, several batteries. In this case, with our uh, little um, Hubsan X4, uh, this is a, a, a bundled deal where you get five additional batteries and uh, this guy, and it's great. So, so this uh, USB charger is awesome and is sort of the default thing when we're here um, in the lab doing all kinds of good stuff. But um, with this guy, this multiple charger, we can take this anywhere with us. And so th this is in our uh, go kit. So if we go to our um, you know, regional uh, training centers or areas outside of our lab here, um, we can charge multiple batteries at once, and that's key. Another quick note about batteries, um, these are uh, lithium polymer primarily batteries we're talking about. Uh, so we you have to be very careful with uh, flammability. We have uh, special fire cabinets. Now we also do other things in our lab, um, and so we typically don't keep our batteries in this flammable cage. We keep it in this smaller flammable cage, um, which is only batteries, no uh, ethanol or other chemicals that we use. Um, and then uh, for our large volumes of batteries, so this, again, these would be batteries that we're using, testing, doing stuff in our lab here. Elsewhere, we're in the process of building a battery bunker uh, away from the building here so that uh, we can store our, our larger batteries, large capacity batteries for a larger time. And again, uh, here's an example from our blade of a um, uh, healthy, good working battery and one that's starting to pop, get fat, get uh, uh, showing signs of wear and tear. You can see the difference in terms of thickness. Um, this is the guy that needs to go to the approved battery recycling facility and uh, and leave usage because it just uh, is potentially getting ready to cause a problem. So battery safety, battery management, a key part of UAV operations that oftentimes gets forgotten, but it's one you should not forget.